Good evening, Philippines. Welcome to General Assignment, now on its fifth season. Back with us tonight, Attorney Tiki Tabuhara, Secretary General of Progan. Uh, let's talk about strides uh, in the fight, in government's uh, fight versus corruption, in view of the fact that uh, the, uh, the chief of the Philippine National Police was recently suspended over uh, supposed uh, uh, corruption cases. I'm your host, Miguel Hill. And uh, uh, good evening. Welcome back to you, Tiki. Yeah, good evening, Miguel. Uh, thank you again for inviting me. Always a pleasure to be on your show. You know, w we, we had to invite you again because uh, uh, this, is this is one topic. The, 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 uh, the issue of corruption is a topic that is, uh, w w we, cannot, uh, uh, we cannot turn a blind eye to it. It is always there. And... Uh, this, this particular government, the Aquino administration, uh, came to power supposedly uh, on the back of its, uh, its, uh, its uh, uh, strong position against uh, uh, corruption in government. So, good governance was its slogan, no? daang matuwid, or the, the straight path. Now, uh, we have seen, of course, that... Uh, uh, it has uh, it has uh, won, uh, not yet won, but uh, it has gone all out in the fight uh, against uh, certain corrupt officials who happen to be in the opposition, and th th this of course uh, raises some question marks. But now, a very close administration official, one who is supposedly in the inner circle, finds himself uh, under fire. Uh, the chief of the Philippine National Police, Alan Purisima. And uh, we also understand that you are among the attorneys, you and your group uh, w were the ones or who continue to spearhead the, the uh, fight to have him, uh, what, uh, removed from office. So this is, I think, uh, your first uh, partial victory. Tama ba yan? Partial victory. Well, uh, just just to clarify, no, uh, we we were not the ones who filed the plunder case against him. It was another individual, no. So there uh, are several groups. Correct. There are currently four uh, plunder cases filed against the chief PNP in the ombudsman. Apat. Uh, and uh, okay. one of them was the one filed earlier this year, which we believe was the subject of this preventive suspension that was imposed now. Mm -hmm. uh, on our part, we are interested in these cases, though, because our case is related to these cases because. Uh, our case is in the Supreme Court, which deals with firearms. Uh, re re refresh our memory. Uh, ano yung kasong sinampan nyo? And uh, paano ito naiba dito sa, uh, sa mga iba pang kaso? Well, last uh, March of this year, no, we filed a petition in the Supreme Court uh, requesting for a temporary restraining order uh, against the, the restrictive firearms policies no, dun sa PNP. Mm -hmm. And uh, the implementor or the person who issued those those uh, policies was the chief PNP, General Alan Purisima. Mm -hmm. So we were questioning the policies. Now, along this, this line, no, uh, one of the issues that we were raising in the Supreme Court was the wear fast uh, courier service, which we alleged or which was alleged to be overpriced. No? So there was an issue of corruption. But uh, some other groups took up on this issue no? and uh, filed behind us after our case was filed in the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. plunder cases against the chief PNP based on this allegation of overpricing of the wear fast courier service which was being implemented by General Purisima for delivery of firearms licenses to licensed gun owners. Okay. Para sa, para, para sa ma, mas maintindihan ng lahat, no? when we talk about plunder, we talk about uh, uh, taking or, or supposedly stealing or uh, malversing an amount in excess of 50 million pesos. Tama ba yun? Yes. Yung uh, babayon na dagdagan na? Yes. Uh, that's, that's basically misappropriation no, of uh, public funds no, in excess of 50 million pesos. And this is a non-bailable offense. No, ibig sabihin nito no, walang piyansa. No? So once you are charged with plunder na i-file to sa Sandigan Bayan, you are automatically suspended from office and makukulong ka, walang piyansa. B bago tinanggal itong parusang bitay, no, itong death penalty, I understand ang plunder was one of those uh, uh, considered heinous crimes na pwedeng uh, ika ikabitay ng tao, di ba? Yes. Okay. Uh, but, so, so serious in other words? Uh, it's mabigat. serious and uh, mabigat kasi light imprisonment ito eh. 
So if you are convicted for plunder, you go to jail for life. And we are seeing this right now, no, do sa tatlong senador na nakulong ngayon, no, na chinard sila sa sandigan mine ng plunder. And while the trial is pending, o habang naglilitis yung kaso nila, nakakulong sila, hindi sila nakapiyansa. So kulong na sila. Mm -hmm. So this is a first, no, uh, if, if I may add, no, dito sa GPNP ka General Purisima, uh, well, it, it's a first in Philippine legal history, no, that a chief of the Philippine National Police has been suspended no, by the Ombudsman. Yeah, uh, nakakalungkot, no? Because uh, the, the position is such a noble position, no? Chief PNP, napaka-kataas-taasan na, na position, and yet it was tarnished no, by these acts no, committed by the individual who is currently sitting as the Chief PNP. You know, and uh, it, it's very, it's, it's very this, uh, parang yung, yung sa mga lower ranks, medyo nakaka- Nakaka, ano, no? it's, it's, uh, dis Nakaka nakakadismaya. Uh, sa, sa, uh, sa salitang uh, police nakaka-low moral. Nakaka-low moral kasi, okay. uh, you know, the chief is somebody you look up to. No? Uh, to Supposedly, four-star general. A person of Kuno. integrity, okay. of uh, uncompromising principles. Uh, and yet, this, all these things are happening. No? Meron pa latest, eh, yung uh, nung sinuspensya nung Friday, mm -hmm. December 7, na serving yes. order. May nung Monday, may nag-file na naman ng plunder ulit sa kanya, falsification doon sa Batangas property naman. Mm -hmm. So, it's another, a new case again. No? So, dumadami ang mga kaso and nakakalungkot no, yung mga ganitong pangyayari. Okay, let's take a look at the historical background. No? The, the Philippine National Police Law was, uh, was enacted or took effect in 1990. No? Mm -hmm. So, now it's uh, how many years uh, old? It's 24? Na, na, it was amended in 1997, I believe. Uh-huh. Uh, Pero ito ang kauna-unahang kaso ng isang uh, uh, police chief or uh, chief of the PNP na, uh, na nakasuhan ng ganito. Even before the PNP, the Philippine Constabulary, and uh, uh, for a certain period, the Philippine Constabulary had under its uh, wing the Integrated National Police, no? which was more or less the... Uh, the almost PNP na yan, no? na, na develop. Wala pa rin ako narinig na inabot ng ganyang kaso. O, although, if you recall, during the Aquino Galman double murder case, itong si Chief of Staff General Fabian Ver, mm -hmm. uh, Chief of Staff, nung AFP. Nakasuhan siya, AFP, mm -hmm. he was the Chief of Staff of the AFP at the time. Nung nakasuhan siya ng Sandigan Bayan, mm -hmm. natanggal rin siya na preventive suspension rin siya nun, eh, during the pendency of the trial. Mm -hmm. So, that I, I believe that was a precedent no, for legal precedent, what is yeah, going okay, on right okay. now. No? Pero sa police, wala pa. This is the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, although post, ano, no, after their, their terms, no, three of them are now charged. No, yung mga previous chief PNP, uh, si General Rason, I think, is now in custody. Mm -hmm. sa PNP Custodial Center for plundering yata. And then, uh, I think General Versosa is also charged for the helicopter deal no, with the first gentleman. So, may dalawa nang nauna sa kanya na who are now currently being tried in the Sandigan Wayan for, for these charges, no? Mm -hmm. Itong mga graphing corruption. Ikaw, be, you are an officer of the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, no? You're, uh, you're uh, uh, very active in the legal circles. In fact, itong, itong mga advocacy mo, yung, sa, yung mga anti-crime uh, uh, NGO, itong, itong pro-gun and some other uh, uh, groups that, you've, uh, that you are a member or an officer in, uh, medyo malawak yung uh, yung yung uh, exposure sa ganyang bagay. Ano sa tingin mo ang rason kung bakit ito mga position na ganito, ito mga uh, uh, mga uniform position na to particular eh, pa pag ina inabot mo na yung uh, tugatog ng tagumpay as far as your career is concerned. Uh, bakit ba bakit uh, na napakalakas nung uh, nung uh, tempt mga Tukso. Temptation, yung mga tukso sa ganito. Uh, alam, naman, alam naman natin na nakatutok na media, with the electronic media, mahirap nang, mahirap nang itago itong mga ganito mga bagay, di ba? Uh, well, uh, yun nga, no? it's, it's so sad no? that uh, these things are happening kasi paulit-ulit na ito, eh, no? the mm -hmm. past three terms uh -huh. no, of the GPNP. Ganito na, no? kasunod-sunod na, puro may mga kaso. And, you know, it, it seems that people never seem to learn their lesson, no? Na, Public service is really supposed to be a public trust, no? Mm -hmm. But uh, it would seem that uh, it seems to be going out of control, no? Dito sa agency ng PNP, which is really supposed to be a very noble institution, no? Mm -hmm. Police, no? Very noble. Uh, but unfortunately, yung liderato po nila uh, appears to be going out of line, no? So, kailangan may correction ng konti. Mm -hmm. Th this, this current situation na pre preventive suspension ng GPNP is already 
a long string of of problems throughout this year na hindi na address eh kaya na umabot na sa ganito Okay, pinag-uusapan po natin yung mga corruption na uh, yung mga alleged corruption na nagaganap sa Philippine National Police at ang pagkakasuspindi ng uh, pinakamataas na opisyal nito. Uh, so if you want to take part in our discussions, you can text your questions or reactions to mobile number 0915-209-6012. Okay, Attorney Tiki, uh, uh, yung pagtututok tayo sa kaso ng isang particular na tao, uh, baka hindi baka mahirap solusyunan yung problema eh. Tingnan siguro natin beyond Alan Purisima, beyond Versosa or kung sino man yung mga na nasampahan ng kaso, no? kung sino man yung mga incumbent or recently retired uh, generals, no. Yung sistema natin, yung uh, PNP law itself. Do you think that uh, it may uh, be time to amend it further dahil kasi ngayon we are seeing certain weak weaknesses in the system uh, itself beyond the personalities. Correct. Um, in fact, nung nag-Senate hearing si Grace po, yes. naalala nyo, uh -oh. na doon si General Purisima, mm -hmm. meron tinanong doon isang PNP officer ni Senator po na does the NAPOLCOM or the NAP National Police Commission have jurisdiction, disciplinary jurisdiction over the chief PNP? Hindi niya masagot. So no? hindi nila alam? Hindi, hindi masagot. Hindi masagot. But the answer is of course yes. Of course, because the NAPOLCOM exerts jurisdiction over all officers all the way up to the chief PNP. Now, ang, ang to, sa katotohanan nga niya, meron pang People's Law Enforcement Board, no, yung PLEB na tinatawag, mm -hmm. na, which also exercises concurrent jurisdiction. No? May jurisdiction din siya doon sa mga police officers na nakakamali doon sa mga specific cities na mga municipality na mga kung saan-saan sila nakalocate. No? So, these are actually remedies no, available to the citizens if there are abuses by the police. No? Whatever, whatever the rank, no? pwede silang dumaan dito sa administrative liability dito sa NAPOLCOM o kaya sa So this is sa the various city halls or municipal halls? Yes. Uh, itong NAPOLCOM is the centralized office kung saan itong sa Makati no, na pwedeng kasuhan yung mga administrative complaints no, against mm -hmm. airing police officers. Meron din tayong People's Law Enforcement Board, yung PLEB sa mga cities, no, sa mga municipalities where you can also file no, uh, administrative cases. Plus, meron pang internal service, yung in internal IA, affairs service. Internal, yes. affair, internal affairs. Oo, oh. oh, na kung saan directly ililitis o i-consider yung administrative complaint within the force itself. Mm -hmm. 